The two-year anniversary of the Allen shooting is quickly approaching and Foley County is making sure it's never forgotten. Today, local officials gathered with the community for a ceremony unveiling the monument honoring the four officers killed in the line of duty alongside a monument honoring all first responders. Yeah, this is special, real special, and um, especially for the families, you know, to have this uh, always forever remembrance uh, honoring these three men and, and obviously K-9 Drago but, uh, and all the first responders for that matter. But uh, for this to always be here to, to, uh, for years to come, to give remembrance and uh, to, to really honor them for the sacrifice that they made and the service that they provided to these communities. The monument was donated by Derwin Marion and features the portraits of Deputy William Petrie, Captain Ralph Frazier, Officer Jacob Chaffins, and K-9 Drago. I think it's amazing that, you know, people in the community will be able to come by and see this for, I mean, the rest of my life, the rest of, you know, most of the people's lives here. The, whenever they come to this courthouse, they'll be able to look over and see these officers on the, on the monument and be able to remember what they did, the sacrifice they made. and so that we can never forget that as a community, what happened that night. When working traffic in Floyd County, responding to crashes involving deaths or injuries is the toughest part of our job. When you're driving on Floyd County roads, there's so much out of your control. What you do have control over is wearing a seatbelt. Floyd County, always buckle up. The goal of the monument is to ensure the memories of the fallen officers are never forgotten and the sacrifice they made serving their community. You know, it's amazing two years later to still see the outpouring of support, people coming here today to see the unveiling of this monument and uh, to know that, you know, people still think about us, people still care for us and people still have our back every day, even two years after it's happened and I think it's, it's amazing to be able to see that and be able to just, you know, thank these people for what they've done for us, helping us through all this because I I, if it wouldn't have been for the support of this community, I don't know how we would have made it, honestly. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.